Chapter 8, The Lesson of Anger I have learned through bitter experience the one supreme lesson to conserve my anger, and as heat conserved is transmuted into energy, even so our anger controlled can be transmuted into a power that can move the world. Truth can find us anywhere. It found our Gandhi on the platform of a railway station in Peter Maritzburg, South Africa. He had been thrown off a train and onto the platform because a European passenger felt that an Indian should not be allowed to sit in first class. After Gandhi was pushed off the train, his bag came bouncing down the train stairs, landing next to him. It was nighttime. He noticed his whole body was shaking, but it was not because of the cold. He was shaking with anger. His heart was racing. He decided he would spend the entire night on the platform because he did not want to be insulted again by the ticket agent inside the station. That night, Gandhi learned a valuable lesson. He could use his anger and transform it into nonviolent power. Anger is like a fire. It can either burn us or we can light a candle with it. This is why I was born, he thought. This is what I've been working towards since I was a little child. At that moment, Gandhi began to experiment with what he later called satyagraha. It means to grasp and hold tightly to truth. Another way to describe it is truth force. He would challenge injustice, but he would not use violence for this fight. Not in his words, his thought, or his spirit. Remembering the lessons from his mother and his wife, he told people that there would be nothing in the world that anyone could do to him that would make him use violence against them. Then he took a vow, making a promise that he would dedicate his life to using nonviolence. As time went on, many heard Gandhi and agreed with him. They made the same promise of bravery. They would use their creativity, not their violence. Gandhi knew that his job was to bring Satyagraha back to India. He knew it would help his country get freedom and show the whole world how this great power works. <laughs>